What's up Cowboys Nation and welcome back to another video here at the TGR DC show guys This is your pre-game prediction video, but before we begin be sure to hit the like button and hit subscribe for more Dallas Cowboys content guys The Cowboys are 7 and 2 the Chiefs are 6 and 4. This is the game of all games This is the game of the year for me This is the turning point and it's gonna be very interesting to see this game pan out and see how our boys react on the road at Arrowhead Stadium. It's just not any old regular road game. This is playing in one of the most hostile environments in the NFL. And so uh, expect that fall weather to be there. It's going to be a, a really tough game. It's going to be one in the trenches. And I'm going to give you three reasons why. And I know you're going to hate me for this, but I think we're not going to win this game. I think we're going to lose this game. And I'll explain why, and I'll give you three reasons why. But I just want to let you know, guys, I'm a huge Cowboys fan. But I started this channel because I am – I like to believe I'm an unbiased Cowboys fan. I look at this team uh, realistically, and I approach it from that view, and that's the reason why I started this channel. So I would not being tr be I would not be being true and honest to myself if I told you guys something different. But let's go ahead and get into the three reasons why. Number one. It's all about pressure. It's all about the pressure that's going to be on Patrick Mahomes. You look at his year and where he struggled, it's because pressure has been put on him. And now he kicks into this mode where he thinks he has to be mobile and make a play happen. He just wasn't building enough confidence to make the plays that he usually is. Chiefs are riding a three-game winning streak. He's feeling that confidence again. Now, would I feel different if we have Randy Gregory and Demarcus Lawrence? Absolutely. I really think that gives us an incredible advantage in this game. But unfortunately, they're not going to be there Sunday. And so I know our guys are great. I know they've been fun to watch. I love this whole next man up mentality that we've been having all year long. But the Chiefs, despite how you feel about how they've done this year, they are winning. They are 6-4. and four. And they've been to the Super Bowl the past two years. And previous to that, they went to the AFC Championship. So they have a special formula, and they know how to kick it on at this time of the year. We, on the other hand, as much as we love our Dallas Cowboys, there's no resume, specifically with Mike McCarthy. There's no resume to how this team will do come November after Thanksgiving time, going into December, going into the playoffs. We don't know, and that's where I'm coming off with my prediction here. Um, I just don't think we're going to get a lot of pressure on Patrick Mahomes. I feel like he's going to be able to swift and get out of plays and, and dodge tackles and get out of sacks and make the play that he does. Second reason I feel like this game is going to be on edge is our secondary. Our secondary, Trayvon Diggs, let's be real. Trayvon Diggs has been struggling the past few weeks. He got an interception last week, but sometimes interceptions don't always align with the amount of uh, effectivity that you've been having the uh, at that uh, defensive back position. And so Anthony Brown has been a surprise too. He's been playing pretty well. But can they keep up with the likes of Tyreek Hill? Can they keep up with the likes of Travis Kelsey? We're going to have to see and figure this game out, right? We're going to have to watch the entire game and see how they do. Me personally, the secondary has not seen a true contender since week one against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And when that happened, Tom Brady did absolutely everything he wanted. He was not touched one bit. He threw where he wanted to go, and he threw how he wanted to go. <laughs> I don't even know if that made sense, but you get my picture. We, it, and we just didn't bring any pressure. And uh, the thing with Tom Brady is he's a non-mobile quarterback. Obviously, he's not going to extend the play, and we still couldn't get it to him. Now we're playing a very, very, very mobile quarterback who is known to be a magician in that pocket and get out of plays. I'm just seeing a really bad day here for our uh, our defensive line and our secondary. I think our secondary is going to get torched. But, however, I do think we're going to get a couple turnovers. I can, I can feel one or two interceptions coming along. And that brings me to my third thing. Are we going to establish our game? Are we going to be able to establish the run? Because I don't like our chances when we're out there throwing the football and Dak is throwing 40 times. We've shown that we're capable of keeping up with the game and showing you that we can stay in the game and give ourselves a chance because we have Dak in our wide receiving core. But is that winning football? No. Winning football is establishing your type of game. And our type of game is running the ball. If we can go there in Arrowhead Stadium and run the ball down their throats and don't give Patrick Mahomes any time of day, 
we will win this game. But I think the Chiefs are going to steer us out of that, and we're probably going to get a shootout here. And so with that being said, statistically, when our quarterback throws over 40 times, when he's throwing a lot, when we haven't established the running game, when we're dependent on that ball in the air, we're not going to win these games. And that's why, guys, my prediction for this game, I said in my season prediction video when it first came out, when I first started the channel, I said we weren't going to win this game. Today, I'm predicting that we won't win this game. Now, with that being said, this is a terrific measuring marker. It's very rare that a team will play both Super Bowl opponents in one year. We got to play the Buccaneers, Super Bowl champs, and we lost by two points. Now we're playing the Chiefs, and we get to see where we are. Again, this is a long season, so if we take a loss here, it's not the end of the season. We're just building on that momentum momentum, and then going into the uh, most important time of the year, going into December where we need to win these games. And so I'm really excited to see where this team lines up because – we played a lot of teams that haven't had a lot of good records and they haven't really been good football teams. And so, yes, we're talented and obviously we're talented enough to win those games. But are we good enough to beat these competitive teams that show up in the playoffs consistently and they're really well built from the organization foundation down uh, up and uh, up and below? So it's going to be really exciting. I'm really excited. Uh, we're going to be at the game. My wife and I, we're going to be at the game. And so we're very excited to see that, obviously. Um, but I'm excited to see this football team to actually see are we the real deal or not I will love it if we win obviously but I'm expecting a measure um, us are measuring ourselves against them and seeing what kind of football team we are but other than that guys that's my prediction I will see you guys Monday because I'll be traveling back I won't be able to make a post game reaction immediately following the game just because I'll be traveling but uh, I'll see you guys Monday. Be sure to hit the like button. Hit subscribe for more Dallas Cowboys content. Follow me on social media, Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram. And I will see you guys later. Go Cowboys.